I just wanted to share with you another listing I have coming on. Um, we're going to focus today on kind of expanding the, and helping the curb appeal of this house. So um, as you can see, it's, you know, got a lot of overgrowth. You know, my client really liked, you know, bees and natural and let it, you know, just kind of be the way it is. But for the purposes of today, um, we're going to take the stuff out. So this is kind of demo day for us uh, here. And we're going to replace it with a lot of other things. So one feature, I think, of curb appeal that's really important is you've got some structural components of the house, you know, like stonework here that we have a lot of that's really covered up. We're going to kind of open this up again so you can see that. And then we're going to put plants in and then, you know, bring back the prettiness of all the landscaping. So I'm going to bring in my team. We're going to rip it out, uh, show you as we go along. So let's start that. So we've got Jose here. Um, he's going to start cutting. So we're going to take Jose, what, everything out of here, right? Yeah. So it's all going to be opened up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to leave this uh, maple tree, clean it up over here. But he's cutting away. So uh, we're going to take everything on the top away, and we're going to take everything on the bottom away. On both sides, including this side over here, we'll take a look at it as you, as you kind of get stuff out. You can start to see we're taking stuff off. Uh, you can see the house a little bit more. And you know, curb appeal, you know, really is a factor of you know, being able to see the house. And if you can't see it, you really can't sell it. So when you're looking at, you know, maybe your house and you want to maximize the curb appeal, being able to see some of the really? architectural really? features of the house are important. And the and the landscaping really should just accentuate that. Really? Right now, you know, these are pretty, but um, they're overgrowing, so they're taking the distracting from the house. So, as you can see, we're starting to get a pile of stuff here. Um, scroll over there for a second. We've got, you know, them working still. We're kind of cleaning it up. You can see now that the house is a little more exposed. So let's uh, walk through just for a second what we're going to do here. So all of this where we're standing is grass. We're going to redo it. It's kind of uh, overgrown and just kind of got some weeds in it. So we're going to take it all out, put new sod in. Uh, we're going to freshen up the whole thing all the way around the outside here, cleaning up you know, the orange tree. We'll, we'll shape it. Uh, we'll take the leaves out. We're going to clean all these plants up. We've got some plants in here which are pretty. We're just going to kind of leave them, but clean them all up. You know, put some bark in here. But the focal point is going to be in the, in the house. So we're going to have either side of the front door, we're going to have uh, globe boxwoods, which are really pretty, that are a special order. So there'll be two of those on either side. And then we're going to have um, white cyclamen, because right now it's, it's January, so there's not a lot of flowers that are in bloom that are really showy. So that's a really nice one. So we're going to uh, do a row of those in the front, on the top, and on the bottom. So we should have two layers of the uh, cyclamen. And we'll probably mix it with something else that looks good, maybe something with a little bit of green in it. So we'll keep working here. So we've got Jose here for just a few minutes. Uh, thanks, Jose, um, uh, my gardener. And um, we're going to go through just a layout. So Jose, you've got um, these, these globe boxwoods on order. Mm -hmm. what, what size are they? Are they like 18 or 20 rounds, uh, something like 20 that? 20 gallon. 20 gallon, mm -hmm. OK. So we'll have two of those, one kind of here, one here on either side. Then a row of cyclamen in front of that. Now, mm -hmm. do we need to raise the dirt level at all? Because yeah, but it's I need to raise low. the level, otherwise. Raise it, because we won't see the plants otherwise, exactly. right? On the plants in there. And then down here, um, we're thinking about maybe putting something something in here, if mm -hmm. we could find something, and then another maybe row or two of cyclamen, and then maybe something lighter green, like mm -hmm. we talked about, like a lighter green plant I showed you. Um, that might be really, really nice there. So you're gonna, you say you're gonna check in the nursery yeah. about what we, they we, might have to put here. Really nice okay, because uh, it's a little bit wider here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill it in, and then you're gonna get all the grass for here, mm -hmm. and on same thing on the other side. All right, so now we're in the backyard here. I mean, listing, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here to kind of spruce up the backyard. So right now uh, we're, you've got some. But the old bush here, they already took off because um, it was dead. It was on the trellis. He is now currently cutting out this old rosemary bush, which, uh, you know, is, is past its prime and it's half dead. So we're going to take that out. Um, over here, these are, these are like a, you know, this is a bush. We're going to take that out. Um, there's another one here that's overgrown. We're going to take that out because it doesn't have the globe anymore. Uh, underneath here, this is a potato bush, which is really, really pretty. It's got a purple flower on it. We're going to shape it. 
There's another um, bush behind it. We're going to take that out. And around this area, we're going to make it a focal point with uh, cyclamen, white cyclamen flowers, kind of like in the front, same theme in the back. Back here, we've got a whole lawn area. And so the lawn is overgrown, and you know it's a little shady here with the trees. So uh, we are going to put brand new lawn in here. We're going to take it all out, put in sod. Um, we're going to, in the back here, there's an area that uh, we have a sitting bench, and we're going to clean that area up with a rock underneath here, make it look more presentable. Uh, we're going to shape the orange tree, which is a really pretty, you know, orange. We really like, you know, people really like the orange trees, so we're going to, you know, make that nice. Uh, we've got another lemon tree back here. Uh, we'll put some bark around the outside, but on this corner over here, I want to point out what we're going to do. So there's um, a little bit of a privacy issue here, so we're going to add a little, a few more bushes in here, Carolina cherry, which are very, very nice. They come from the nursery about five or six feet tall, and we're going to put about six of them in here along the fence, and then we're going to take out the old sandbags and the rock. And we'll put some more white cyclamen in here and maybe a few bushes in between. Clean this area up over here and that'll kind of round out the backyard. So um, again, you can see the clean this up over here right now. It's going to look really, really nice. It'll be a focal point back to this sort of courtyard area we have with an outdoor barbecue. And um, we'll put in some more white cyclamen along this side back here and also against the house we're going to fill this with some more white cyclamen here so that's kind of the theme here we're going to um, make it bright and light with uh, the white cyclamen which has a very pretty um, kind of dark leaf and a, a very pretty white flower We're back at my listing today and I wanted to show you we've made a lot of progress I'm really excited about it again we're looking at the curb appeal here so we got the grass going down and I wanted to show you a few of the flowers we've selected uh, to really maximize the curb appeal now if you remember we were going to use cyclamen but um, when we're maximizing curb appeal the nursery didn't have cyclamen that was really was almost at the end of its cycle about two weeks left so we're in the middle of January right now we're putting in these uh, uh, these are primrose, ripe primroses instead of the cyclamen, so those are going to be very nice. And this is called, right here, uh, a hairy alum root. It's uh, a nice lighter colored leaf, um, has a little bit of a flower on it, but uh, it goes well with complementing everything else. We've got some alyssum back here, which is a white flower on it. We've got a variegated grass, kind of give a little bit of height got over here some kangaroo paw right here in red and uh, we've got uh, the boxwood so this are common boxwood right here on either side of the front door so we've got two of those one over here also so um, kind of rounding out this whole area we um, also added another tree over here so with the red bark really pretty to accent this side of the house and then on the other side there's already one over there so kind of balances it out and really you know it's shaping up to be some nice curb appeal so let's go take a look at the back so now we're in the backyard and I want to show you we've added some um, more primroses back here and they're really pretty they've got the white with a yellow center which is really nice and um, gets more of the variegated grasses so this kind of fills out this area right here, and this is our kind of outdoor patio area, which we have a little fire pit area we're gonna set up. Um, but let's walk over this way, and we'll check out the grass. So now we're back here with the grass, and we've just put all this in. It's um, not quite finished yet, but it's getting there. It looks really nice. And back here, if you remember, we had that privacy thing, so we put in these um, Carolina cherry laurels, is what they're actually called. And uh, they kind of fill in really nice. We've got, what, uh, six of them, it looks like. And uh, we're gonna put some flowers below here. There's probably some more primroses back here. So we've got this area back here that we've never cleaned up a lot. So we've got the potato bush we've kind of cleaned up and all of the bushes that were down here. We've got a kangaroo paw in the corners. We've got a little fern back here. Another kangaroo paw over here. We're gonna put some more flowers down here, probably some primroses. Um, back over here, uh, we've cleaned up everything and 
you know, we're putting the bark around the outside just to sort of make this area, it's kind of shady, but it's pretty. Um, and uh, it's a nice lawn area back here, so everyone can enjoy that, so. Hey, so I'm back at my listing here, and we are ready to go on the market, really excited. Um, here's the curb appeal we have ended up with on the front porch where a buyer's gonna end up. Or again, you know, if you wanna do this to your own house, you know, maybe some, get some pointers from this video. But let's take a look, let's step down here, take a look, they just kinda of cleaned it up, so it's a little bit wet still. But um, we've got all the flowers in now on this side, the primroses and everything that we looked at last time, all the pretty, everything's in. It looks really, really nice. Also on the other side over here, um, really nicely finished off. And so if someone comes walking up here, they're really gonna look at this and really be excited about the yard. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick close up here. Check it out now. Let's look at all these really, really nice flowers. All of this landscaping that's got the grass, you got the lighter colored, that uh, hairy olive root, you've got the beautiful primroses. Everything's all in. It really sets off the house, it sets off the wall, really accentuates the colors on the home and the architecture. It's really, really nice. So I just want you to check that out. So I'm gonna pour out one more feature here. We've got this really nice existing maple. Right behind it, actually, there's, you know, they're deciduous right now and not in bloom, but uh, those are crepe myrtles behind us that uh, are from the neighbor's side. And then let's look on the other side over here real quick. Follow me over here, and we're gonna check this side out because, again, this side, we've got, you know, we added another maple tree. Behind it's a birch tree. So that kind of rounds out the outside edges of this lot. So it's not just the focal point in the middle, but it's also the whole expansive lawn and yard. All right, so we're in the backyard now again, and uh, this is a finished. We've got everything out here all ready to go. And in our sort of fire pit area, if you want to check out the land, you know, all this landscaping, but we've got some nice furniture here, outdoor kitchen over here. So let's go take a look at the backyard. All right, so here we are in the yard area with all the grass we've added, and it looks really nice. I'm really excited how it turned out here. We've got all of the bushes trimmed up, all of the Carolina cherry that are put in here with all the beautiful bark, um, all really freshened up and ready to sell. So I'm excited to be able to show it to you. So from this angle that we're shooting from right now is a really good angle for the curb appeal when we sell this house. Um, also the light coming in from the sun right now, hitting the house and also accentuating the landscaping. Also a nice focal point and we will feature that in our photos. All right, so this is also another, another really, really pretty angle. I wanted to show it from this angle. And you know, if you're gonna be doing this to your house or something along these lines, you know, you can use the plants that we've suggested here. You can even do something better, but we're giving you some ideas as to what we did here. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, like or subscribe. Thank you so much.